On this video, let's talk about beginning dating and how sexual relating can confuse our nervous system. I'm Alan Robarge, an attachment-focused psychotherapist and a relationship educator, and I like to talk about how to heal attachment trauma and also improve our relationships. And this video is linked to what I'm calling the dating series. It's not numbered. They're not numbered. It's, it's not an exact number of videos. But for me, as I write down ideas, as I film them, as I organize them, I'm, I'm making them in a, 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 a number of videos on this topic of just beginning dating, specifically for those of us with attachment injuries, attachment wounds, or those wounds and injuries showing up as the symptoms of attachment trauma. And that if you happen to fall into that category, like me and like many others, uh, that we can then normalize this reality that insecurely attached uh, dysfunctional behaviors and dynamics and trying to get our needs met while managing attachment distress it's very common. And if it's so common, then we need to be transparent and open about sharing these ideas, specifically with a partner. Now, this can be challenging when you meet a new partner, because some of us like to hide. Some of us don't want to reveal ourselves. We don't want to share our feelings. We don't want to talk about, hey, you know what? I have attachment wounds. And it really influences how I show up in relationships. Now, I know that that is not rare. I know that that is not unique to me. It is high, it's very, very common that a number of us come from a history of insecure attachment. And so that means that we are much more sensitive to this bonding process we're much more sensitive to building trust and safety. We're much more sensitive to intimacy, the frequency of intimacy, the frequency of vulnerability, and the frequency of how we come together and we feel a sense of closeness, and then how we also separate and we feel a sense of distance and, and uh, separation before we then negotiate coming back together. Now, couples who, what we have to figure out very early on, and this is going to be challenging uh, in the sense, challenging to hear it, uh, because some of us are going to hear it and we're going to already know the truth. And a lovely symptom of attachment trauma is distorting reality. We have the ability to override reality. We, we override uh, seeing red flags. We override our own wants and needs. And we try to make a relationship work that's just not working. Uh, make a relationship work that we have chosen the wrong partner, and yet we're telling ourselves, "Yeah, okay, let's just let's just keep going and see if it changes. Uh, see if they change. See if." And in the meantime, all of this concern and the conclusion that I don't really think this is a good fit. We have a much higher tolerance to live in this place of not getting our attachment needs met. And it's what I call misplaced loyalty. It's having this extreme sense of tolerance, the ability to tolerate not getting your attachment needs met. So can you see how this is dangerous? If we have the ability to distort reality, we have the ability to deny red flags, and we have a propensity, we have a tolerance for going for long periods of time where we do not get our attachment needs met. Well, all of those together are going to say it's very easy to create a relationship with the wrong person, to create the wrong type of relationship with the wrong person, and yet to stay way too long and, and not be able to have the discernment and the skill to see and map out these patterns and say, hey, wait a minute, this is just not good for me. So a number of you, you know, us watching this, hearing this, uh, 
we might just know that what we're talking about is a scenario, a dating situation with someone who this is not good for us and they're not the right partner for us, but we're going to hang in there and we're going to still try to override reality or for a while uh, to just see, just to make sure, you know, you're sure, you're you're sure that they're not going to change. We're not going to change. It's not going to change. The relationship's not going to change. Thank you so much. More videos on the way.